For this Dolly vlog hop, the question was, what are your top uh, dolls? And there are different categories, and a lot of people have taken a little bit of freedom with remolding the question, and I think I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to do the top of um, different categories. So I wanted to start um, answering this question with um, sort of introducing or reintroducing um, my custom pull-ups. There's just something so precious about having, to me, what is, um, it's a sculpture, even if it wasn't sculpted by hand. Um, it's each one of these girls is a work of art, um, and they are a fun work of art because they're three-dimensional and I can actually pick them up and I can move them around and, and really interact with them. So each of these girls is, is just precious to me. Um, I could never sit here and say, which is my favorite? Um, above the others because for each of them um, since they were commissions there is a little bit of me in each of them and there is a lot of bit of each of the wonderful artists who created them for me so <laughs> I refuse to pit them against each other um, but there's just no comparison for me um, in having a doll that has been designed and painted by hand, by brush strokes directly uh, from an artist, um, versus the stamp of a factory. So at the top of my pull-up collection would be these girls. And um, so just a quick... Um, introduction or reintroduction of them. Um, we have Ivy here who was customized by Meofish. I have little Zuzu here who was customized by me, Kochi. My dear sweet Lucy was customized by Namians. Beautiful, tragic Eliza was customized by Kiki and Chrysanthemum. And I, I want to get back to this girl in just a moment. But, um, of course, back here we have gorgeous Reese, uh, customized by the ever-so-talented Carolyn Felix. Um, and little Lily here, customized by Rakuru Sensei. She's my very first custom commission. And I wanted to save Natasha for the last because just a couple videos ago, um... I think it was the, the, the doll collector's tag. I guess it wasn't part of this dolly vlog hop. Um, I answered the question, which was my least favorite pull-up? And um, the reason was I just, I could not find a connection with the factory painted version of Pull-up Tifona, whom um, I've named Natasha. But she just very recently came back from being customized by an incredible artist in Russia. And I'm so glad that I sent her off to get this transformation. She's absolutely gorgeous. For my top stock pull-ups, I've chosen three, and I owe a great big loyalty to sweet little Kailia. She was my first pull-up. Um, her stock is gorgeous. It just... If, um, in the very beginning, I think if I could only have chosen one pull-up, I still think it would have been her because of her stock. She just, um, exemplifies an era of, of costuming that I love. The details and the quality, um, of the cloth of her costume just really call out to me. I love her hair. I love... Her gorgeous, gorgeous, smoky eyes. Um, I love everything about her. Um, down the road now, having collected so many and knowing what it's like um, to see a face-up done by an artist, she is comparably so, so pale. Um, and her colors are somewhat plain, but 
she will always hold an incredibly special place in my heart. I think a very popular favorite is Bloody Red Hood. Um, her stock is also phenomenal. Here I have her in a little bit more of a contemporary look. Um, a little bit of a risque blouse, but that's okay. Uh, there's just something about this girl. I've named her Ava. She's one of the very few whose uh, stock I chips. I um, I don't want to change. I I love the the pitch black midnight <laughs> color of them. Um, and some of you probably know that I um, I do have another. Um, of the same doll that I did change the colors. Different eyes, different hair. She's just so versatile that I couldn't resist the temptation um, to play with that versatility. But if I could only have one, I would always keep her as she is in her original design. She's fabulous, you know, and probably because she is a creator label doll. Um, as a matter of fact, the third one also is a creator label doll and you might recognize her i'm sure you recognize her pull it my melody um i've changed her a little bit and i've um i've made her a bit of a lady she's gorgeous i i love how dramatic her face up is um i don't display her brows so that's really not an issue if i wanted to i think i would send her off to somebody who could just fill them out for me but Despite that, she made um, she made my top three. Top three dolls is <laughs> so difficult. Like, I don't even want to look back there because um, all of those girls are my top dolls. But if I if I must, <laughs> um, my top three dolls would be these three girls. So in no particular order, because narrowing down to three is difficult enough. Um, Dal Risa, originally Risa Rock, she has incredible um, stock and then customized. Um, this girl Mila here just has my heart. Ruby, again by the magnificent Carolyn Felix. She'll always be one of my top girls. And Lilu, originally Dal Moretti. Um, I've had her in this wig for a little bit um, of time now and I'm really missing her dusty rose so she's likely to go back to that very very soon and of course she's still holding on to Mochi. Top Isu would be little um, Isu Glen here whom I've named Leaf and maybe again because he's a Creator Labels uh, boy or Creator Labels doll. Um, he looks hand painted He's gorgeous. He's a little bit of a heartbreaker. Um, I adore this kid. I only have two Taeyang and they are the the same release, um, if you'd be believe it. I have to give a little bit of loyalty to Killian because he was um, he was my first. I got him um, on eBay, but this was a really great opportunity to get him. Um, I got him. For a really good price um, as his original stock and so seeing him with his original incredibly extravagant <laughs> stock outfit and hair um, is really pretty awesome. Um, I have big plans for him but he hasn't done much yet since he arrived. Hi my name is Rue. Favorite Yalame. She's about to have um, a little bit of competition because um, she has a little sister arriving soon who um, is named Izzy. But of course, this little Yalame is hand carved, hand painted. Uh, Rue is um, one of my favorite kids in here. And finally, favorite littles. Um, definitely have a preference for the Buells in this design. We have little Garçon Rat and little My Melody, I think she was called. Um, and I've named him Louie, and she's Mochi, and uh, they're just darling. Oh, I love their smooshy faces. 
Okay, so I'm going to combine one more question into this video, which is, which doll would you like to see released as um, a premium doll? And because uh, my beautiful Natasha didn't make it into any of the previous lists, I mean, and, and, and this whole thing is just silly. I might grab a whole different grouping um, if I were to do this video tonight or tomorrow. Um, she's definitely dear to my heart and she is gorgeous. Uh, by stock, she was originally a Pullet re recall and so that's who I would like to see released as a, a premium doll. I mean, I think re recall to begin with was somewhat of a, a premium doll, but if she were released maybe with a stark black version of her original red outfit, um, because I didn't get her as as the original doll. Um, I got her already as this um, semi-customized version. Um, you know, I, I don't miss the red dress. I think uh, I wouldn't have used that very much, but I did love her sort of um, little 50s pinup girl short bangs, um, and I love her original eye chips too. Um, I actually have those the original owner sent them to me as as a gift, which is really sweet. Um, but yeah, I wanted to uh, I wanted to feature Natalia in this video because she is extremely special. And um, in this getup, she is uh, currently the character of uh, the Cheshire Cat. For me, I I plan to do. Um, a special little film soon so keep an eye out for that all right so thank you for watching uh, please be sure to check out the description box below for a list of all the other vlog participants and for a master list to the master playlist um, I'll talk to you soon bye